Hello, and in this video, I'm going to go over how to log into ProjectWise through Bluebeam Review. So since it is integrated, I'm going to go ahead and show that. Opening Bluebeam for the first time, I have a, a dialog saying it's in view mode only. I'm just going to hit OK. This means I can't make any modifications to documents, which we'll get to later. So if I go to Review and then Preferences in the top left corner, I can select Interface. And here I have an option to add DMS types, which project-wise this is what we're going to add. So in the bottom left, we'll hit the plus symbol. Here we have type of project-wise, so we can go ahead and select that. If it's not selected for you, you can hit the drop-down, and you can hit load after. After it hit load, it is going to load our data sources. So we have the O1, which is training and testing, O2 for projects, and O3 for archive. So I'm going to hit O2 for the projects, and down here I'm going to check these two toggles on. What this does is it checks it out of project-wise when I open it through Bluebeam. This way no one else can make changes to the file while I'll have it open, and I can modify as I need to. So we're going to hit OK here. Now that we have that added, we're going to hit OK. Now we're going to do a file open. So after doing a file open, we're going to get a prompt to log into ProjectWise. So that you've seen this dialog before. So here I can select the data source. In this case, I'm going to use projects. And we do want to change authentication to Bentley IMS. This way it's going to log us in uh, federated through a connection client. There's also a remember me option if you want it to log you in automatically. However, I might change data sources. So I'm going to leave this unchecked for myself. So we're going to hit log in. After logging in, we do get the project-wise dialog to where we can navigate to the documents. So if I click on documents, you can see I have the folder structure we see in Explore. So I'm going to actually go ahead and navigate to a PDF. Now that I have a PDF selected, I can go down here to the bottom left. There is a toggle for read only. If I check that on, it does not check it out project wise and it opens up in read only. So that does a copy out. So in this case, I'm going to leave that unchecked to hit open because I want it checked out of project wise. So if we go back into project wise and refresh your view, we can see that the document is checked out to me. Others will see that lock icon. Now I am in view mode, as we can see. So if I click review, I can switch that to the markup view. Now I can make modifications. Here, I'm just going to go ahead and do a simple cloud, add that into the, the sheet. Now to check my document back in the project wise, I just hit that exit and you can see where it's being saved. And there we go. And now I'll get that dialog to go ahead and check that back in, save the changes into project wise. If we go back, we can see that it is no longer checked out to me so I don't see that red check. Now just to show you if I do a file open I can go ahead and select that same document and we'll do the bottom left we'll actually check that on for read only check that on and we'll hit open. Now if we go back to project wise we can refresh our view and see that it is not checked out to me. Again it did that copy out so I don't have to worry about checking it back into project wise.